Hi everyone, Jayma Malney here, back with another scrapbook process video. Today I'm using this really fun beach party paper. This is new from Close to My Heart's July through September catalog. And I just wanted to give you a close up look at these papers and the sticker sheet. If you look closely, you can see some shine on some of the stickers. It's got that fun coating. So really fun, bright colors. And then the papers are all two-sided. I've already got the sides flipped over of all these. So we've got the fun water kind of lines, these fun icons with the tubes and the floats. We've got just a red and white stripe. This would also work nicely for your 4th of July photos. We've got this fun aerial view of the umbrellas and the beach towels. We've got some beach balls, and then we've got this yellow print here. So I am going to be scrapbooking some pool photos. Here are the photos I'm gonna be using. I've got two four by sixes of my son and daughter at the pool, and then some supporting pictures in three by four. Also very cute, but I think that these two are just the star of the show. I love the expressions on their faces, and they're just having so much fun. So these are actually on two different days, but that's okay. They are documenting swimming at our community pool in the summer, and I'm gonna put them all in one two-page spread. I've pulled in my Versa mats here. These really help me to line things up when I am putting things across the page and also make sure I stay in frame on camera for you guys. I'm gonna start with some white base pages. Because I have so much color in my photos, I want to have a more neutral, just white background, and then we'll add pops of color to add color to the layout. And I'm thinking that I want to have the photos kind of like this. So I want the two four by sixes over here, and my daughter is looking this way. So I want her on this side so she's looking into the layout. I feel like if it's like this, she's kind of looking off the page, even though the two, the second page is over there. That's why I like the orientation of this. And then these photos, I've got the two vertical, two horizontal, and I alternated them, which also works well because I've got a lot of pool background here and here, and they're balancing each other off diagonally like this. And then the ones that don't have as much blue in the background are gonna be diagonal, so it works perfectly. I thought I would bring in the products that I'm planning to use so you can sort of see my thought process. I may or may not use all of these, but I just thought that this is the direction I'm gonna start. I like to pick out some papers and embellishments and stamps that go with my layout and then go from there. So because I have a lot of blues in the background of my photos, I really wanted to draw this water theme. I'm thinking of doing a water like waves on the bottom. And then I've also got this navy color, which is an accent color in this paper pack. So I've pulled some navy. This is actually sapphire from Close to My Heart cardstock. And then we've got the, the Capri, and I think these colors are gonna work nicely together. I've also got this Capri background icon paper, which is great because my kids have floaties, and so it's kind of fun that there's floaties on this and the colors are perfect. I don't have as much of this Bluebird color, but I think it's still gonna work. There is some, my son's goggles on his shirt, the umbrellas in the background his goggles over here. So it is sprinkled in small doses around. So I'll play with that. And then I'm thinking I might use these waves incorporated down here and definitely some of the other stickers. I like to always get the, it's called Picture My Life. These are basically pocket cards in four by six and three by four. And I like to get these with every paper pack because it kind of stretches the paper pack. So I pulled out these ones that I think I might use and so this one is just beach towels. If you look on this side, there's no sapphire. You flip it over and there's sapphire. So each side is a little bit different. And so I like the side with the sapphire to bring that out. I might try this because the colors work really well with my son's shorts, brings in more sapphire. These ones, I think that this could work as a journaling spot. I'm not sure if I will have a large journaling spot. I'll probably just do journal strips, but thought I would try it out. This looks like tiles on a pool to me, so I pulled that to see if it might work. This is supposed to be like, I don't know, it's like netting, but it kind of reminds me of the pool, you know, like the pattern you get from the sun on the pool. So 
I don't know, I might try that. And then this is kind of cute with the inner tube as well. So may or may not use those, but I just pulled them out. I've also got a couple of stamp sets. This one is the scrapbooking set that goes with Beach Party. I'm definitely gonna be using this Keeping Cool by the Pool. Might use the flip-flops and the sunglasses and the little tile. So we'll see, lots of these will work. The sunshine, definitely was not relaxing <laughs> with kids in the pool. And then this one is called Moments That Matter. There are coordinating thin cuts if you'd like for these little icons. I decided to get this without the thin cuts because I am planning to use it mostly for the titles. So I might use this Hello Summertime, but I'm not sure because there's so many titles over here. And I forgot to mention this does have coordinating dies and I have the dies for this set and everything comes nice and tidy in these envelopes and the, the dies come on the magnetic sheets already and that's how Close to My Heart's stamps and dies always come. So it's nice and handy right out of the package. And then one last thing I pulled out was this new stencil set. This is a card front stencil set, at least that's what it's called, but you don't have to just use these for cards. I thought this pattern here looked like splashes. So I'm thinking I might add a little bit of very subtle stenciling back behind there. So let's go ahead and see how all of this comes together. I'm starting out with my waves on the bottom. I wanted to see if this idea I had in my head would work and spoiler alert, it did. It worked wonderfully. So I have my water brush and I'm squeezing it just a little bit to squeeze a little bit of water as I draw this kind of wavy water pattern on this border and that helps me to tear it. So now I've got kind of a soft squishy line going in a wave pattern across this strip and I can easily tear it. If you pull the right side toward you, it will give you a little bit of that white core showing. If you do it the other way, you won't get the white core showing. But we're not really gonna see the white core because as you can see, I'm just kind of like rolling or folding those peaks down and I'm going to pull out my water brush again to wet this little area at the end that wasn't as wet to help it kind of roll. The water on there really helps make this work nicely. So I'm going to do that to all of the waves. I wanted to show you one more because the pattern paper had yellow on the other side and I didn't really want that showing too much. So what I did was I rolled it and then I sort of flattened it out a bit and it still has plenty of dimension. This adds some really fun texture and dimension to your page. So I've already done the left side and now I'm going to glue down the right side. I've added these wave stickers on the bottom. I alternated the patterns so it was this capri color against the dark sapphire so that it pops better and then the bluebird wave pattern and then capri again and then I liked the sapphire on the top. I felt like it kind of anchored everything on the page. So notice that those stickers, the wave stickers, go in opposite directions. It doesn't bother me, but I just wanted to point that out in case it does bother you, just so that you're aware. And as I'm gluing these down, I am just putting glue along the bottom so that I can tuck each layer behind it and there's no glue there to block it. Once I've got this done, I'm pulling out this white gloss spray. This is actually a technique that's shown in the workshop kit for this paper collection. Close to My Heart offers a three two-page layout workshop kit for every paper collection, and there's always a featured technique. So while I don't have the whole workshop for this, I did pick up this technique and I thought it looked so cool. It's almost like foam on the waves. It just looks really, really cool. So there's a close-up of that. And now I'm going to bring in this stencil. So I want to make a visual triangle with my stencil because it's going to be the base of my embellishment clusters. So I've got my blending brush and Capri ink and I'm testing it first on my scrap paper just to make sure that I like the way that it looks and um, look at how perfect the Capri is to the match of the water in the pool. It's just the perfect color for pool photos. I really like how that looks. So now I'm going to commit. I've got this new masking tape that Close to My Heart is coming out with in the core catalog. And it is like post-it tape. And it's 
papery. So it's unlike washi that has like that kind of glossy finish. And when you put ink over it, it could still smear. What I like about using this for the stencil is that if you get ink on it, it soaks in since it's paper and you're not going to get it all over your hands or smear it onto your project. So I do like that and it's very low tack. So when you first get it, it just has a little bit of glue on the end to keep it onto the roll and um, then you can use it to uh, mask off pieces that you don't want. Like here, I'm kind of masking off the areas that I um, want to focus on. I didn't do that on the first time, but now I am. And then it also helps to hold the stencil down. So I'm really liking it for that. This was my first time using it and it's coming out August 1st. Plus it's such a pretty color, right? <laughs> so um, I'm gonna do the same thing with the stenciling, have it peek out the bottom of this photo here. And then I also did it in the top right to create the visual triangle. Now I'm gonna turn over my Versa mat because the opposite side has foam that's perfect for stamping. You can also use that piece of foam that comes in every stamp set. And what it does is it helps you get a good impression of your stamps because it has a little bit of give to uh, make sure that you're getting all of the little parts and pieces of the stamp, I guess. Um, so I was trying to decide what color I wanted to stamp this fun in this, uh, what is it? Cool, keeping cool in the pool sentiment. And I was deciding between the sapphire blue and the candy apple red. So I'm first seasoning it. I rubbed it on my arm. And then I also like to stamp it a few times onto scrap paper to um, just kind of season the stamp and get it ready for my project. I'm gonna stamp firmly and hold it down for a few seconds to give the ink time to soak in. And then I'm gonna try the candy apple red. I did clean in between. I'm gonna try it again. And as soon as I got the ink on the stamp, I knew right away, nope, this is, this is just not gonna work. It just doesn't feel right to have that in red. I feel like it should be blue since it's watery and pool themed. So I did that in the sapphire blue. And then I cut out this other piece from a die that I thought I might want to have this um, hello summer sentiment. And I just wasn't liking it. There wasn't quite room for it. So I went back to the other stamp set and decided to use the summer fun because it had a matching die to cut it all the way out. And I cut a bunch of other pieces out from that stamp set as well, stamped them in different colors and used the coordinating dies to cut them out. I was trying to get that sunshine arrow to work, but it just, I wasn't liking it. I think there were too many like title type um, embellishments on the page. So I backed all of my photos in white and I was toying double matting them with sapphire, but I thought that would just be too much. So instead I inked around the edges in sapphire ink and that gave just the perfect touch. It just pops off the page perfectly. I like to mat my photos typically in white because the photos um, then kind of pop off the page but then I wanted a little bit of accent for them to pop off the background as well. So now here is where I'm pulling in those pocket cards. At first I tried that Capri colored um, one that has the nets on it and it blended in too much. So then I thought I would try the one with the green and blue. At first, I didn't want to introduce green, even though I have a little bit of green in my photos. I did try stamping some of the stamped images in green and I wasn't liking it, but I do like this because it's just such a subtle amount of green and it really helps to tie in the grass and the trees and just sort of those little background elements on the page and just introduces a small amount of color. So I'm going to sort of tuck those in the corners, again, creating a visual triangle around the page. And then I pulled some of the stickers off of the page. I didn't want to introduce a lot of red, so I just pulled off a few stickers that have red just to draw your eye around the page. So each of my visual triangles has just a small pop of red. They each also have a small pop of yellow. And so these elements are bright and different from what's in the photo and the rest of the page. It really helps to draw your eye around to the photos 
and the different elements on the page and create extra interest. So I'm just deciding where to place everything. Um, I didn't end up using this yellow strip here, but I'm thinking, well, I've got my visual triangle, but I've got a little bit of blank space next to the pool photo on the right page. So I'm gonna end up adding some strips there which is not part of my visual triangle, but remember creating a visual triangle is not a hard and fast rule. I do have my main embellishment clusters that form a visual triangle, and then this is just sort of like a little kind of accent area here. So adding those strips there, and then found another sticker that I like with just a small pop. I'm not going to show you gluing down everything, but I just wanted to show you here how it's really helpful to have the Versa mat. So I'm going to pull in my T-square ruler, make sure my layout is straight. The T-square ruler catches on the side of the Versa mat, which is super helpful. And then I can make sure all of my pieces are straight. And that is helpful for so many things on your layouts. This is a really, really popular item. So I do have it linked below if you are interested in something like this. There are also these really fun rubber shapes, which I forgot to show in the beginning of this video, but they add some really fun texture and dimension to the page. I just added a few of the little stars and then I'm gonna add some sunglasses. I do have sunglasses on the other side of this layout, but I thought these ones looked cute here. They go with the goggles that my son is wearing and they're far enough away from the other ones and then there's also these little flip-flops I decided to use on the left page even though I've got the flip-flops on the right page again I thought they were a different color and far enough away and they look really really cool I'll show you in the close-ups here in a little bit but for my finishing touch you guys know I can't do a layout without shimmer brush splatters so I decided to use the Capri shimmer brush because of course it matches everything else on the layout and this blue looks like water and so it looks like little water splatters all over the layout. I accidentally got a bigger blob than I tried to and I learned from a fellow YouTuber Missy Whitten if you use the entire paper towel roll to roll it up it'll keep that nice circular shape so you don't get a misshapen blob when you blob it up. All right, now this is one of my favorite new products in the upcoming core catalog. These are sticker journal strips. I actually requested these and I don't know if I'm the only one or hopefully there were other people who did as well, but these sticker sheets you've seen me use in my kit layouts, they come in Close to My Heart's kits and I love them so much. I thought, well, why can't we just have them all the time? Just sticker sheets that are journaling strips and they came out with them and I, just about died when I saw them in the new catalog. I was so excited. It makes strip journaling so easy. So I journaled all on one line. I messed up on the first line. So I, this is all like one and a quarter strips and just cut them down to the sizes I want. So here's a look at all of those little details. I love these waves. Didn't they turn out cool when it all dries? it adds that even extra ruffly effect and it looks so cool. So I'm gonna leave you with some still shots here in a minute so you can see them even closer. I hope you picked up some good ideas from this video and let me know in the comments, do you have pool or beach theme photos that you're working on? I'd love to know. And I've got all of the links of, to the products that I used linked down below. Here's another video you might enjoy with stenciling. If you haven't already subscribed, I hope you're inspired to do so. Hit the like button and I hope you have a wonderful day.